So in this video, I wanted to talk about these surfaces and their continuity. So in this case here, they look like they're nice. And if you join these surfaces, they look okay. And uh, if you look at the Analyze tool under Analyze Surface Zebra, you'll see that actually they're not that smooth. You see a break in this reflection in the zebra stripe. So I'm going to show you how to fix that kind of issue. So the first thing you want to do is explode your surfaces and then you can check the points, points on, and you can see that this is two surfaces. There's a patch here and another surface here. So that means we're going to have to split these surfaces again once they are aligned. So because I do not want to lose that, the first thing I'm going to do is go under curves, convert, actually it's not convert, it's curve from object here, yeah, that's what I want to use. I'm going to use the duplicate edge. So you can duplicate an edge from any surfaces. In this case, this one is the one you want. Enter. Escape. We don't need this one anymore because we have a curve we can use to trim it again. So for now, we want to untrim. Untrim this edge. Doesn't seem like it's working. Um, I'll just use a different command. I'll use untrim all. So this forces the entire surface to untrim. And it does not work. Yeah, I think the reason why that's happening is because these are joint surfaces. So you need to make sure to explode them. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention when I selected them. Um, so you need to explode all of them. But this is exploded. I also want to fix this one. And we do not have to do both sides because if the object is symmetrical, we can do just one side, mirror it to the other side. So let's do the untrim feature and I'll use untrim all just to make sure it untrims the entire thing. Okay. Now if we wanted to split it again, we can just use this curve. And if we go from the front side, we should be able to split it. But before we do that, we should mirror this to the other side using the center line which in this case would be the y-axis. So I'll just snap to the grid with um, grid snap. And then if you hold shift, you can make sure it's straight. And now if we go back to the perspective view, we can see we have two sides and we want to align them to each other. So the feature I'm going to use is called match. And there's two ways to use it. You can match a curve to another curve, or you can match a surface to another surface. And so the first thing it says is select untrimmed surface. So that's what we have. We have two untrimmed surfaces. So we're going to select one of the sides, the other, enter. And then we want to use tangency for both sides. And we want to make sure we use average surface, average surfaces. And what that does is it's going to change both surfaces. Now, if you don't use average surface, it's going to align one of the two surfaces. So if we say curvature, you can see the left side is being aligned to the right side. So that's not what we want. We want both surfaces to be tangent to each other with an average. And now if we join them and look at them again with the Analyze Surface Zebra, we can see that they are really smooth. There's no more break in between the reflections, the zebra stripes. But if we look at these ones, 
we can add an object. It seems okay actually, yeah this one is not bad. I was expecting it to have a very defined edge. Um, and it's probably something we're going to see somewhere else, probably right here. Because this is a bad surface right here, it's a degenerate surface. I want to add this object. And yeah, you can kind of see there's some strangeness happening, like if you look at it right there. It curls like that, and then it goes straight, and then it curls the opposite way. Which means there's something going on. You cannot really see it here, it just goes perfectly straight. But here it's really nice and, and wrong. So we're going to have to fix that as well. So I'm going to explode. And I'll use the match surface again. So match surface, yeah. We're going to match the left side to the other side. So it should be nice and smooth. Um, and in this case, we can even use curvature to curvature. And you can see how it affects the surfaces. Um, the way it works is when you show the points, When you use tangency, it lines up this set of CVs to the other side. And when you say curvature, it aligns the second set as well as the first set. So it gives you even smoother results. And make sure that there's no bump between uh, the first point, the second one, and the third point. That should be pretty good. Um, sometimes I also like to align both surfaces right here, so from top to bottom or bottom to top. But I don't think that's going to be an issue. Um, if we want to check that, we can just join them. And then go under the Analyze. And that's the Edge tool, so Analyze Edge Tools. And Show Edges. And what this does here is it shows you if there is an opening between two surfaces. So because this one is not joined to this one, there is an opening in between. But there is no opening right here, which means they are really nice and closed, closed up. So that's exactly what we want. Now the next thing I want to fix up is this patch here, which does some really strange stuff right there. Not sure what's going on, but we're going to fix that. So I'm going to delete everything and then I'll select what I want to work with. I want to work with all of that and I'm probably going to have to use this curve so I'm going to keep that. And then you can go under the hide object and inverse the selection and hide everything that is not selected. 